Hello YouTube, this is PJ from Intense Computing here. Today talking to you about the settings for an object doc. Object doc is this program right up here. Now when you first get it, it's actually going to be on the bottom of your screen. But I set mine to the top. If you like how mine looks, pay attention to this video. Now, the first thing actually is the weather application. Pretty much, you right click on it to set it up. It'll say not applicable, and A. And to, um, to set it up, you click weather docklet properties, and they'll ask you to enter your location. Now, I would enter 08057 because that is my district. And I go ahead and click update. It says not applicable, and it says retrieving. And then it actually, when you hold your mouse hovering over it, it comes down. It drops down with web weather applications. Now, one more thing: if you would like to get Object Doc, please go to ObjectDoc.com or go to YouTube.com forward slash How Takes and search for the video explaining how to get object doc now to get into the actual doc settings you right click on it and then you click doc settings after you do that a little box appears saying object doc properties you can then go from there and click on the miscellaneous options with this you change the font and any other things like shortcuts and things that they couldn't find a place for in the following tabs. So now you can click OK, and these are the tabs that I was just talking about. You can also, in the general tab, click on the performance options. Now I have mine at low quality, but you're going to get yours at normal quality recommended. And this is how fast it zooms and things like that. And you can make it slower. That's really slow. And now this is going to be very fast. So I keep mine just about there, and it zooms in pretty quick. And I keep mine optimized for memory, because this will make your computer run a little bit more fast. Because if you uh, select the optimize for performance, the object dock is going to take up a lot of your performance. Unless you have a lot of RAM installed on your computer. If you have a lot of RAM installed on your computer, then go ahead and use Optimize for performance. If you don't know what RAM is, please click the video link to the right. Now go ahead and click OK once you're done changing all the settings. You can also pause this video if you need more time. Now go to the Themes tab. This is where you can get themes for your icons and such. I don't use this at all because there's a way by right clicking on each icon and then clicking doc, uh, doc entry properties and then clicking change image and it comes up with all the images that they give you and you can change it to whatever you want for my internet browser I just use a simple internet picture and click OK then OK again and it brings you back to this page now you can go to the Docklets tab, and this is just for adding docs, more at icons, I'm sorry, and things like that. You can also go to the Appearance tab, which then brings you into a lot of detail. The icon size, which will actually change the size of your doc also. So this actually, um, it, it's kind of big. So I keep mine right about there. And the magnification size, I keep mine about 110 because it only it zooms in a pretty good amount. But as you can see, if I make that real small, it doesn't really zoom in. And if I make it real big, it takes up too much room. So I keep it about 110. And then the backgrounds, I can go ahead and set to anything I want. I keep mine as eminent, so if you like that, this style with the blue line and stuff like that and go ahead and keep that one this the glass is pretty cool too um, also the bent glass um, 
if I can find that one. Anyway, look for bent glass and you'll find it. And so I'll just go back to eminence. And then after the uh, appearance tab comes the positioning tab and you can go uh, change the edge of the screen. So um, where it is, the bottom, you can't really see that, the top, the left, and of course the right. So I keep mine on the top. And then you can change the, the the display. I know you can't see my other screen, but I have another screen hooked up. And now my object dock is gone. It's on my other screen. I'll go back to display one. Now reserve the edge of screen. So if you have an application open, such as my YouTube, you can, it actually takes up part of the screen. So you don't actually see or you lose part of your web browser. The nice thing about that is that you, um, it kind of looks like a Mac dock, and it's more accessible if you're on a uh, page and you're like, oh, I have to do that real quick, and so you click on my pictures, and it opens up a thing, so, and that's, I'll get to that, how you make it bounce. Then you can press, uh, I'll just press close here, and so let's go back to the object dock, properties, and then um, the automatic distance from edge, now I keep that on just because if you have this set all the way, like, like, no, that's in the middle of the screen, you don't really want that, so I just do, keep it on, keep it on, keep right on edge or automatic distance from edge. And then the interaction is, um, hide in background when not in use, so if I'm just kind of, you know, moseying around, doing other stuff, then it's not going to get in my way. Um, hide off screen, so if I'm using this, um, I'm in my browser, right, and I need to open something, I just go up to the top of the screen where my, um, thing is, and object dock opens, and I just bring whatever I need open. Keep on bottom, it's always going to be on the bottom, uh, so it's, it's never going to come on top. Let's just open that back up, and I'll set mine back to keep on top. The effects. The effects is pretty cool. Um, no effect is just going to be boring. It's kind of just going to sit there. The zoom effect is what I had set before, how it zooms. And the swing effect. I think that's pretty cool. So, I don't keep it like that because that does use a lot of RAM. So I just keep on the zoom effect. And now the width of the zoom. This is going to make it so that it only uh, highlights three items. And I can go all the way up to 10, and that highlights like a bunch of items. So, the highlight gets wider. I keep mine on 3 just because it takes up less RAM. Quality and smoothness. We were actually already in this options in the general tab. So we'll just click OK. Now, let's go to the dock contents. The display my icons only, it's only going to display the icons that you put in here. Such as this icon right here. If I were to drag it and put it right into my dock, then it would be in there. But if I did display open windows along with my icons, that object that I just put in there is still in there along with the open programs that I'm using. So I can close that one, or I can open this one, minimize that, open this one, bring that one to the top. Minimize that one. So I keep that on. And then this actually changes the side that the open programs are on. So I'll, I'll keep mine on the left side. And then represent minimize windows by their screenshots. So if, okay, if you have this open, that means that here, if I open up this and then I minimize this, it has a little picture of the, um, program so then I can get rid of that and you won't see it because it says that you have to restart but I keep that on and click close guys and that's about it if you have any questions please feel free to comment um, or email me at pjtechhelp at live.com and please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, and I hope you watch my other videos.